tensions running high at the University of Florida today, where white nationalist Richard Spencer took the stage amid angry protests. Local 10 News reporter Amy Viteri was at the event. She joins us live from Gainesville with how it all played out. Amy. Well, Lori, just now things are getting quiet on campus, but we've learned Gainesville police are now investigating uh, someone who fired a single shot from a silver Jeep. They say they're now looking for that person. That happened off campus, and they say no one was hurt. Meanwhile, back here on campus, the Richard Spencer event that so many were waiting to see, well, he effectively got booed off the stage. Each one of you is at the preeminent, you're at the premier event for the question of free speech in this country. You all know that. And this is how you behave. White nationalist Richard Spencer finally getting to deliver his controversial speech at the University of Florida. Are you going to keep this up all night? But no one, it seemed, wanted to listen. Why do you think that you need to suppress speech? You know! Spencer getting frustrated, chastising the crowd and calling them preschoolers. In a news conference this afternoon, Spencer defended his views. I am bringing ideas that are not being taught in this stifling PC academic environment that we all live through, and that is a very good thing. So I'm here to listen, learn, but also let them know that it's not acceptable to act up upon that hate. We found few who supported him in this crowd. But we did see Kyle Hanafi, a white nationalist from Broward County, who says he respects Spencer. Oh, just that he's out here. He puts his face out there. He gets punched in the face. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside the venue, police worked to keep tensions from boiling over. We saw a large crowd shouting and forcing out a man wearing swastikas on his shirt. That man eventually took cover behind police barricades. At last check, though, authorities tell me the only arrest Thursday was of this man working as a security detail for a media outlet and illegally carrying carrying a firearm on campus. And we have since learned from the Alachua County Sheriff's Office, they did arrest another person after the Spencer event coming out of there. That person was taken into custody for resisting arrest. But again, right now, Gainesville police looking for the driver of a silver Jeep who they say fired a single shot in an area off campus. Again, no one was hit. Not clear what this is related to, but we will be heading to that scene. And of course, we will bring you any new information as soon as we get it. For now, we're live in Gainesville. Amy Viteri, Local 10 News. Hey.